What's going on guys? I talked about a wide angle lens in my last video that I uploaded. I wanted to put it in that video, but I had a ton of footage, so I figured I'd just make one part video there and then this one a whole nother video. So you guys are seeing this now. I ordered a Vivitar wide angle lens off of Amazon and we're gonna install it really quick and show you guys how awesome and how big of a difference this thing is going to make. There you guys have it. You can actually see me now and I can hold my camera in front of my face and you can see my entire face and everything around me and I don't need to be all up close. I'm really excited for this. this is going to make vlogging a lot easier and it's going to be a lot easier to uh, come up on things and be able to show you like, for example, you get to see all of this compared to that. So it makes quite a bit of a difference especially when you're vlogging and when you have a camera in your face at all times. Now I don't have to worry about where I'm holding this camera. I can actually hold it in my face, talk to you guys comfortably, and be able to vlog, so yay! So, excitingly enough, my bumper has showed up. The UPS guy actually rides around in a little golf cart with a trailer attached to it, and he just goes to each apartment dropping off all the big boxes and packages, so. Bam! It's here. Let me set up my camera, get this thing unboxed, and then I'm gonna try to mock it up and see how it looks. I'm really, really excited. Got my garage cleaned up too because when I'm gone this week, I'm going to attempt to try to put this car in here. Attempt to. I might have to go get some two by sixes and uh, try to drive it up on some wood. We'll see. you can fit a front bumper in a box like this. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Well, I guess I'm gonna either have to set it up against the car or let it sit out and try to take place. That is so funny. But now you guys see why the bumper itself is indestructible. Because it can be bent any which way that you want it to. Oh man, I'm really excited. Finally, it's gonna look so much better. Shout out to uh, KBD Body Kits. Really do appreciate it. Proudly made in the USA. Like I said, I was gonna get that Vicrez bumper, but supposedly Vicrez was buying bumpers from this guy and then selling them as their own. That's what he told me. According to him, they don't even have a bumper mold for S13s, so there's no way for them to even recondition it. So I don't know if that's true or not. All I know is that I got my bumper, my money's been returned, and I'm a happy customer. So so the instructions say uh, upon receiving and unpacking your product, the uh, like bumper itself will be all deformed. And right here in the instructions, it says, your body shop should place the product in a heated paint booth or other heat source for approximately 10 to 20 minutes. This will activate the memory agent and your product will form back into its perfect shape. Amazing, we know. So I'm just gonna let it sit out here. And I mean, it's all like kinked up and it already looks better. I, oh man, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This is really cool. Shout out to you guys. Bumper's been uh, sitting for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes now. And she's slowly starting to take its shape. It's not that hot out here. If it was a little hotter, it'd probably be taking shape a little bit quicker. But overall, I am super, super happy. It looks so much better. All right guys, so I am working on getting my car prepped up to pull it into the garage while I'm gone. And Zach just got off work and he came by. He ended up installing the exhaust at his house the other night. He didn't, he was just too excited and uh, didn't want to wait on anybody. So I want to show you guys the exhaust now. It's an NVIDIA, do you, do you know the full name? The uh, NVIDIA? R400 Gemini. The R400 Gemini. So let's check out this beautiful STI. Oh man, those look great. Those look really great. You wanna fire her up for us? Perfect little fitment too. There's really good fitment. Pain in the neck? Pain in the neck. <laughs> oh yeah. That sounds good. We do a quick roll around. Go for it.
That thing sounds awesome. So you like it? Oh yeah. You're happy with it? You definitely recommend it to any other STI owner? I know NVIDIA has always been the best exhaust for the Subarus, but everyone's told me. Definitely sounds better than I had listened to previously online. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. I wanted to show you guys that because we went out to DRP the other day and picked that thing up and it would only make sense to show you guys the final product of that. He's got a ton of parts coming for the STI. He's working on it slowly but surely, so that might be in and out of the channel. I don't know if you guys are interested. If you are, drop a comment, let me know. We'll definitely uh, bring more of uh, Zach's STI on the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. You like to do your peace sign. I do. Yeah. That's mine. I edited like three clips and you were like, peace, That's all I do. peace, peace. I was like, I'm only gonna put one in there for him. Yes, I appreciate it. So that. it doesn't look like he's piecing everybody. That's what I do. I say, later guys. It's been about another 10 minutes and I wanted to show you the car in full kit with the bumper on, the side skirt, and obviously my rear. It looks like a drift car now. I just need to put that rocket bunny duck bill on there. I'll do it for looks really quick. Yeah, there we go. Full rice. I'm so happy with this bumper. It makes me smile. It really does. I can't get over it. Well, I was able to get my car in my garage. It was a little bit of a headache. Uh, Zach had to uh, give me a hand. He ran out of here because he had to go to work. Um, that's why I wasn't able to film it because we had to make this kind of a, a quick job. But anyways, I just put the boards down and uh, we backed them up the boards and you can see the marks from the jack right here. It started right about there. That's where the nose of the car was. I just jacked it up from the nose and then we got in there. We put it in reverse and just slowly backed up the car and it brought the jack all the way up to the crack here. And once we made it up to the crack where you can see where it stopped, we just lowered it back down and she backed herself up and over the curbs. So it is in there. It is tucked away since I will be gone. I don't want anybody messing with it. I don't want anybody digging inside of it. And uh, I feel a lot better with her just hanging out in here with all my goodies and my parts. Yay! Happy Travis. Really, really crammed, but she's in here. That's going to be a wrap for what I have for you guys today. Like I said, there wasn't much going on besides my bumper and this lens coming in, which is awesome because I have the camera like, I don't know, a foot away from my face and you can see everything. It's really, really convenient. Car stashed in here. She's going to be hanging out here for the next week or so, hiding from all the elements, just hanging out doing her thing. The old 12 valve, she's going to be hanging out here also. We're going to be taking the Subaru up there. So if uh, any of my friends up in North Carolina want to hang out, kick it and chill, I'll be up there from uh, Saturday to Saturday because I'm leaving tonight at midnight. Be up there for six, seven days-ish. So, yep. If anything comes up, I might be doing a little bit of vlogging in between. Maybe a vlog on the way up there to North Carolina. It's going to be pretty dark. It's going to be midnight, so it's really not going to be exciting. But I will uh, keep you guys in the loop, and hopefully we can get some content and some things to do. All right, guys, so we're going to be doing a little bit of unboxing for some Christmas presents right now. Since we're going up to North Carolina, we agreed that we'll do a little Christmas time. Uh, oh, is this it? No. Here, this one's the fun one. This is the one that I want? Yeah. All right. This is the ones that I wanted to, to show you guys. And Jennifer also got some cool stuff in here. She's going to open up her gift over there. I just wanted to show you guys this one. My graffiti? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. How do you say it? Barberware? Barberware is what Ooh. I yeah. What are you doing up there? <laughs> Not yours. Nice. How exciting. Such an interesting gift, but they are much needed in our yes, house. And Jennifer is turning into an awesome cook, so. Gotta eat somehow. Yep. Alrighty. Mind trading with me? Yep. You want to open some? Maybe we'll let you open some. Oh, geez. What? Some flush mount hood catches. Oh, sick. <laughs> oh, man, those are nice. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Does it show what brand it is on the other side? It should. It says it right there, Arrow Pitch. Nice. 
But wondering about though is arrow catch. We're supposed to have no keys on them, so I can knock them. Heck yeah! Now the dog's gonna open some presents. Well, Maui opened most of her presents already. So we'll open some treats so that we can give them one. Come here, Renegade. We're opening up your gift. Granny! If you ever wonder why we're the dog house. What do you have there? You're getting a new gift. A new gift. Your sissy opened most of your bones. But you got some treats. Off of Chewy. Chewy.com. Look at that tail. Does it smell good? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Good girl. Are they yummy? <laughs> and this is why we're called the dog house. Because we have an obsession with our dogs. Yeah. Our fur babies. Merry Christmas, guys. Thank you, Jennifer. Of course. Thank you. You guys can't really see me because I'm back on my iPhone and it's just momentarily. We are heading over to Chris's house real quick. I came over here on the west end of town to uh, grab some dinner with Jennifer and Chris sent me a really cool message with really nice pictures. So we're gonna stop by his house and check them out for you guys because I think you'll like them a lot. When did you get cats? I've had a cat. You've had two? I got fish. I got What's up? How you been? Oh, you know, living the dream. Not this dream here. <laughs> That's my left. Oh my goodness. I didn't know that it was all here. Yeah, it, it, everything but tires is here. And these are the coil overs. Holy mother of God. Yeah. And then. I told you guys would like this. I forgot my camera too. I don't, I don't and I was like, man, I, I have to go. one with the center cap on. Oh, the, the one the picture you sent me? Not all of them. Nope. That's a big box. Yeah, it is. Does that one get over? Nope. Did not have the center? Okay, whatever. We're just going to open that. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. That's a 26. That's huge. <laughs> yeah, that's a 26 by That 14. is ginormous. Are they the same wheels that Brandon has? No. Gerald? No, these are uh, American Force AKAs. Eight lug, super single. Those are insane. Yeah, they're massive. You like them? Yeah, they're... It's pretty big. I feel like last, <laughs> I feel like last time we did this... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was at my you, house on a yeah. couch, you were holding them. Yeah, mm -hmm. I definitely can't pick one of those. <laughs> they're, they're heavy, that's shit. Oh my goodness! Yeah, they're, they're heavy. That's insane, dude. Well, congratulations. Yeah, bro. It's... Just let me know whenever I can post this. <laughs> um... Whatever, I mean, it'll have to go into the going January 2nd over to Tim over at North Fort Off Road over on Beach. He's gonna be doing all of it, mounting everything up. Mm. Hopefully, it'll be done by the 5th. We'll do a video on it. Yeah, we have to bring back the feature videos now that I have a normal camera and yeah, I no, forgot I it and I'm using my iPhone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Fail, we pay for shit for no reason, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, right. Well, I knew you guys would like this, so I had to make the stop and come say hi to Chris. And then show you guys these goodies because this is awesome. I about crapped myself when I saw your picture. Yeah. Alright guys, so I am editing the video now and I forgot to do a little closer. And plus I was on my iPhone, so it was kind of lame and cheesy. I wanted to do it on this cool camera with my nice new lens. I hope you guys enjoyed the content that was in this video. Everything that's coming out for the car has been awesome. I'm really, really excited and stoked to see the way that it's turning out. And Jennifer says beer is her friend. She just stepped in front of me while I was filming this. But I want to make this uh, short and sweet because I did not mean for the video to be this long, but I wanted to put Chris's stuff in there because those forces were sick. I can't get over it. And I had to do the Christmas unboxing to show you guys the Arrow Catch hood releases. So it was just uh, all in the mix. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It means the world to us. And if you're a returning subscriber, drop a comment below. Let us know what you think about the video, anything that I need to work on. And other than that, guys, I hope you have a Merry Christmas, and I'll catch you in the next video. Later.